Hi friends, welcome back to Read With Me LG. I'm here with a very special little series called The Nutshell Library. And these are all written by the same author. This is Maurice Sendak. This is one of my absolute favorite little, as you can see, next to my head, it's very small, um, collections. So when I was little, I used to think these were the best thing because you can hold them in your hand. Um, so we're going to spend the next four days that we're recording. So today, which is Friday, and then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will all be the Nutshell Library. So there's four books in here. Uh, today we have Pierre. The next day will be Chicken Soup with Rice. Then we have Alligators All Around. And one was Johnny. So bear with me. I hope you like these. Let's get going. I got to get them out, though. <laughs> all right. Perfect. So, we're going to start with, like I said, they're all by the same author. So, these are all by Maurice Sendak, okay? So, for book number one, we have Pierre, which is my personal favorite, okay? Um, unfortunately, these don't have a ton of pictures. Well, they have, a, they have a good bit of pictures. I'll show you what I do, what I have, okay? So, this one's called Pierre, A Cautionary Tale. Okay. Pierre, a cautionary tale. So this is Pierre. He looks kind of grumpy, huh? So we're gonna see what we're learning about Pierre here, okay? There's a prologue, meaning like an introduction, and then there's five chapters, but they're really short, so we're gonna roll through it, okay? Prologue. There once was a boy named Pierre who only would say, I don't care. Read his story, my friend, for you'll find at the end that a suitable moral lies here. Chapter One One day his mother said when Pierre climbed out of the bed, Good morning, darling boy. You are my only joy, Pierre said. I don't care. So there's Pierre's mom trying to be nice, and there's Pierre. I don't care. What would you like to eat? I don't care. Some lovely cream of wheat? I don't care. Don't sit backward on your chair. I don't care. Or, pers or pour syrup in your hair. I don't care. So here he is just saying, I don't care. And pouring syrup in his hair. You are acting like a clown. I don't care. And we have to go to town. I don't care. Don't you want to come, my dear? I don't care. Would you rather stay right here? I don't care. Pierre doesn't have much of a vocabulary, does he? There he is, he's saying, I don't care. I kinda what his face says too, huh? So his mother left him there. So there she is. She left and went to town because he said, I don't care. Chapter two. His father said, get off your head or I will march you up to bed. Pierre said, I don't care. I would think that you could see, I don't care. Your head is where your feet should be. I don't care. So there's Pierre's dad trying to get on to him. What does Pierre say? I don't care. That's the only thing he said so far. If you keep standing upside down, I don't care. We'll never ever get to town. I don't care. If only you would say I care. I don't care. I'd let you fold the folding chair. I don't care. So here's Pierre goofing around on the folding chair and his dad's like, come on, man, I'll even let you fold the chair. So his parents left him there. They didn't take him anywhere. So this is them leaving for town, left Pierre home. Chapter three. What do you see in that picture? I think it's a hint for what's to come. A lion. You shall see. 
Now as the night began to fall, a hungry lion paid a call. He looked Pierre right in the eye and asked him if he'd like to die. Pierre said, I don't care. Oh, I forgot to show the picture. So there's a lion. He's just having a nice civil conversation with Pierre. But all Pierre can manage to say is, I don't care. I can eat you, don't you see? I don't care. And you will be inside of me? I don't care. Then you'll never have to bother. I don't care. With a mother and a father. I don't care. So there's the lion. Just talking to him. And, and Pierre is just yawning. He is just, I don't care. Right? Is that all you have to say? I don't care. Then I'll eat you if I may. I don't care. So the lion's like, you, sh you sure? All right, I'm gonna eat you. So the lion ate Pierre. A full lion. So now we're on to chapter four. Arriving home at six o'clock, his parents had a dreadful shock. They found the lion sick in, in bed and cried, Pierre is surely dead. So they came home, not just to Pierre gone in a lion, but a sick lion in Pierre's bed. They pulled the lion by the hair. They hit him with the folding chair. His mother asked, where is Pierre? The lion answered, I don't care. <gasps> His father said, Pierre's in there. So that's when they realized Pierre was in the lion. So here we are, chapter five. Taking the lion to the doctor. They rushed the lion into town. The doctor shook him up and down. And when the lion gave a roar, Pierre fell out upon the floor. He rubbed his eyes and scratched his head and laughed because he wasn't dead. His mother cried and held him tight. His father asked, are you all right? Pierre said, I am feeling fine. Please take me home. It's half past nine. The lion said, if you would care to climb on me, I'll take you there. Then everyone looked at Pierre who shouted, yes, indeed, I care. So suddenly he's got a few more words, huh? The lion took them home to rest and stayed on as a weekend guest. The moral of Pierre, care. I hope you guys enjoyed that little book. It's just a sweet one to me and it's a funny story, but it's got a very important lesson in there about how saying I don't care isn't a very nice response, right? When people ask us an opinion or ask us how we feel or ask us how we're doing or ask us anything really. Um, so it's a way to remind us that sometimes it's important to care and to tell people how we care and why we care. So hope you guys had a good day. I look forward to the next time when we read another book from this group. Have a good night.